Welcome to another episode of Talking About Elements, where we dive deep into the world of fascinating elements and their remarkable stories. Today, we're shining a spotlight on radon, an element often lurking in the shadows. Radon's story begins in the late 19th century when the field of radioactivity was in its infancy. It was discovered by Friedrich Ernst Dorn, a German physicist, in 1900. Dorn was experimenting with radium, another radioactive element, when he detected a strange, radioactive gas. He named this gas radon from the Latin word radius, meaning ray, due to its emission of alpha particles. Radon belongs to the noble gases on the periodic table, alongside helium, neon, argon, krypton, and xenon. What sets radon apart is its radioactive nature. It's the heaviest and most unstable of the noble gases, with no stable isotopes. Radon-222 and radon-220 are the most common isotopes, and they decay by emitting alpha particles. This radioactivity makes radon both intriguing and potentially hazardous. When inhaled, its radioactive decay products can damage lung tissue and increase the risk of lung cancer, making it a concern when found in high concentrations indoors. Radon is a product of the radioactive decay of heavier elements like uranium and thorium, found in Earth's crust. As uranium and thorium break down, they release radon gas, which can migrate through soil and enter buildings. This natural occurrence means radon can be found almost everywhere on Earth, but its concentration varies greatly from one location to another. While radon is primarily a product of radioactive decay in nature, it can also be produced artificially. This is often done in nuclear reactors or particle accelerators by bombarding lighter elements like bismuth or lead with high-energy particles. These processes generate short-lived radon isotopes, which find applications in various scientific and industrial fields. One of the most critical aspects of radon is its potential health risks. Radon is colorless, odorless, and tasteless, making it imperceptible to our senses. When radon is inhaled, it decays into radioactive particles that can damage lung tissue. In fact, radon exposure is considered the second leading cause of lung cancer after smoking. To mitigate this risk, it's essential to monitor radon levels in homes and workplaces. If radon concentrations exceed recommended safety limits, measures such as ventilation and radon mitigation systems can be employed to reduce exposure. Despite its potential health risks, radon has some surprising and valuable applications. One of the lesser-known applications of radon is in the field of geophysics. Radon gas migrates through fissures in the Earth's crust, and by measuring its concentration at the surface, scientists can gain insights into the Earth's subsurface, helping to locate valuable resources like groundwater. Radon also plays a crucial role in radiometric dating. Geologists and archaeologists use the decay of radon isotopes in rocks and artifacts to determine their ages. This dating method has been invaluable in understanding Earth's history and the timeline of ancient civilizations. Another unexpected use of radon is in radon therapy. In controlled settings, radon's radioactivity has been harnessed for therapeutic purposes. Radon spas and therapy centers in Europe, especially in countries like Germany and Austria, have used radon exposure as an alternative treatment for various medical conditions, including arthritis and rheumatic diseases. As we conclude our journey through the world of radon, we can see that this element holds a unique place in science and industry. From its discovery at the turn of the 20th century to its role in understanding Earth's geology, radon continues to intrigue and impact our lives. However, it's crucial to remember that radon, like many elements, has both its benefits and risks. Being aware of radon's presence and taking appropriate safety measures can help us harness its potential while minimizing its potential harm. So, whether you're an avid science enthusiast or just curious about the hidden world of elements, radon is undoubtedly one of the most captivating and enigmatic substances in the periodic table. Thank you for joining us on this episode of Talking About Elements. Stay curious, stay safe, and remember to keep exploring the mysteries of the universe. 
This has been Talking About Elements, signing off for now. Until next time, keep delving into the wonders of science and the remarkable world of elements.